Select the cube with the left mouse button and click S plus Z to scale it along the Z axis. After that, scale it once more but this time with S plus Y along the Y axis. You can scale it with S plus Z a bit more if necessary. Click Ctrl plus A and apply scale. Switch from object mode to edit mode this tab so we can add and edit some geometry. We need to add some loop paths. To do that, click Ctrl plus R. We want to have 6 loops, so scroll the mouse wheel up 6 times and confirm it with the left mouse button. Now you can still move them. We want these loop cuts to be centered, so click the right mouse button to keep it centered. Switch from selecting vertices to selecting faces with 3. Select this face with the left mouse button, rotate the scene by holding the pressed mouse wheel and hold shift and select this face with the left mouse button. Now turn on the proportional editing with O or by clicking here. Click G plus Y to move faces as shown along the Y axis. While scrolling the mouse wheel up, the area of influence becomes bigger and when scrolling the mouse wheel down, the area of influence becomes smaller. So we need in this case to scroll it down a bit. Turn off the proportional editing with O or by clicking here. Click A to select everything and move the book to the right with G plus Y along the Y axis. Select this front face with left mouse button and while holding Ctrl select the rest of the faces as I did. Now click Alt plus E, choose extrude faces along normals and move your mouse up to extrude it outward or down to extrude it inward. In this case, move your mouse up. With this we added more geometry to our book. Click on this edge and press Alt to select this whole loop. Again, click Alt plus E, choose extrude of faces along normals and move your mouse up to extrude outward. Switch to the object mode with tab. Click the right mouse button and choose shade out to smooth. This is used to visually get rid of sharp corners based on the angle wherever they are not needed. Switch from object mode to edit mode with tab. Select this face with left mouse button and then move your mouse pointer to the face that you want and click Ctrl to select all from first this face. Click and hold shift to select faces on this side without unselecting faces that you selected previously. Release shift and again with left mouse button, move your mouse pointer to the face that you want and click Ctrl to select all from first to this, to this face. Now click Y to split of selected, selected geometry from connected unselected geometry. We need to add some loop cuts again, so click Ctrl plus R. Now select this whole loop cut with Alt. We want to align both of them with Y axis and we will do that with S plus Y plus 0. Now move them to the left along the Y axis with G plus Y. Again, add two more loops and do all that we did in the previous step. Now add two loop cuts between those two loops with Ctrl plus R and click S to keep that centered. Do the same here as well. Switch to selecting faces with true. Select this face with left mouse button and then move your mouse pointer to the face that you want and click Ctrl to select all from first to this face. Click S plus Z and scale it down along the axis. Switch to the object mode with tab. Click on modifiers. Add modifier, generate bevel. Change segments to 3. Switch to edit mode with tab. Until now we have been in solid mode. Now we will switch to the render mode so we can add lights and materials and see how our book looks with proper lighting. Now go to render properties and switch from render engine Eevee to cycles. Turn on the viewport in noise to get rid of the noise and make things easier for the eyes. Also if you have a good graphics card, you can switch from CPU to GPU. Switch to object mode with tab. Select the point light that is already in our scene. Move it with G plus Y to the right, uh, to the right along Y axis. Duplicate it with Shift plus D and move it to the left with Y. Select the first light again and duplicate it with Shift plus D. This time move it with X along the X axis. Select the book. Click on the material. Click plus and new to add the second material. Rename this one to book pages. Switch to edit mode with tab. Move your mouse pointer to the pages and click L to select linked pages. Select book pages in the material part and click assign. Switch to object mode with tab. Place the cursor on the upper side of the screen as shown and when you see plus just pull it down to the left by holding the left mouse click. Select book covers material. 
Open the shader editor in the window you just created. Click N to hide the sidebar on the right. Click Add Texture Voronoi Texture. Connect color from Voronoi Texture with base color from Principle BSDF. Click on Vector from Voronoi Texture and connect with Vector from Mapping. Connect Vector from Mapping to Object from Texture Coordinate. Change scale in Voronoi Texture from 5 to somewhere around 60. Connect color from Voronoi Texture with Hide from Bump. Connect normal from Bump with normal from Principle BSDF. Click and hold Ctrl and while holding the right mouse button, cut that yellow line that connects color with base color. Change feature output in Voronoi Texture from F1 to Smooth F1. Change strength in Bump to somewhere around 0.370 and distance is somewhere around 0 0.180. Connect base color from principal BSDF with point means from geometry. Add converter, color ramp and put it between geometry and principal BSDF. Click on the first color of color ramp and move it to more to the right. Click on the second color of color ramp and move it more to the left. Change strength in bump to somewhere around 0 0.085. Click on the second color of color ramp and change to the color that you like. I choose brown. You can change the second color of the color ramp as well to something that will fit more to the first color. I changed also to a brown color. You can play around with those colors and make a book in color that you like. Add texture, noise texture. Connect effect from noise texture with roughness from principle BSDF. Change the detail of the noise to 15 or similar and scale to 3. Change scale in Voronoi texture to something similar to 75. Change strength in bump to somewhere around 0.050. Click on Shin Principle BSDF and change weight to somewhere around 0.240. Select the second material book pages. Add texture, wave texture. Connect color from wave texture with base color from Principle BSDF. Click on Vector from Wave Texture and connect with Vector from Mapping. Connect Vector from Mapping to Object from Texture Coordinate. Change Rotation of Y in Mapping to 90 degrees. Change Scale in Wave Texture to somewhere around 70. Connect Fab from Wave Texture with Height from Bump. Connect normal from bump with normal from principle BSDF. Click and hold control and while holding the right mouse button, cut the yellow line that connects color with base color. Add converter, color ramp and put it between wave texture and bump. Click on the first color of color ramp and change it to the lighter black. Add input, ambient occlusion. Connect color from ambient occlusion with tag from color ramp. Connect color from color ramp with base color from principal BSDF. Click on the first color of color ramp and move it more to the right. Click plus to add one more color. Choose something light yellowish. Click on the second color of color ramp and change to something light yellowish as well. Click on the camera icon. Go to view and turn on the camera to view. Now you can adjust the view for far or close by scrolling up or down the mouse wheel and rotating the view by pressing the mouse wheel and moving the mouse left or right. If you want to move the whole camera, hold shift and press the mouse wheel while moving the mouse up or down. When you are satisfied with it, turn off the camera to view, click render and render the image. That is it. Now you know how to model and texture a book in Blender. If you enjoy learning Blender with me, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Bye, see you next time.